he wanted to figure out how you can hit a ball effectively. And he realized pretty quickly that there are almost countless ways to hit a golf ball effectively. So he came up with a book, The Golf Machine, to go over and talk about all the components of the golf swing and then all the variations of those components. And then, as far as hitting consistently, I think he saw another problem. He saw that hitting consistently was reliant on feel. But the problem is, is that feels are subjective. So how do you figure out all the subjective feels? Well, you really can't. What you need to do is you need to have to come up with a system that'll allow the golfer to come up with their own feel so they can use it for themselves and repeat the golf swing and repeat the alignments and all the mechanics over and over and over again. So that's why I came up with this basic acquired and then total motion and you know like I said uh, you know you gotta kind of feel your way around the uh, way I did it was a lot of times is I would close my eyes and kind of just feel my way around or I would also uh, go in slow motion or do both and just try to feel what was different when I did it right between when I did it wrong Another good drill for this that I like to do, because oftentimes I come over the top, is I'll stick like an object out there, like an umbrella, but in this case we got a, a uh, golf bag. And if I'm coming over the top, what I'll try to do is I'll do this drill where I will aim at that object right out in front of me. Just like it's like a flag, you know, I'll aim the club face and my body and everything at it. And I'll take my normal backswing, but the goal is while I'm aimed at that object, I want to hit to the right of that object. And again, just go basic, acquired, uh, and then total motion. And if you get tripped up a little bit, then you just go back to the shorter uh, stroke motion and try to feel your way around a little bit. And if you get that, it's really helpful because you can then go out and use that uh, for pretty much till the day you die. So, uh, you know, for myself, if I'm striking the ball poorly, usually even if I don't feel like I'm doing it, I'd say to myself, well, you know what, you're probably getting a little bit too fast on that start bend. Or you're getting a little bit too much pressure up in this index finger at impact and you're just flipping it through with that index finger instead of just drive pound heel striking it down. You know, whatever your feel is, you can use that and remember it and say, you know, when I get in trouble, I tend to do this. So even though I don't feel like I'm doing it, I might want to check that out for a little bit. So if you have any other questions, just uh, post them up on my blog and I'll answer them for you.